Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you are all well on this fabulous, fabulous Thursday. So we got over the hump day together and you all look absolutely amazing. Christina Randall, look, I know I borrowed the Yala are my babies, but look, you've had meat and potatoes and now you're using hump day. Just admit it. You love harsh. Anyway, straight into the meat and potatoes, because we're going to be talking about something today. And look, I saw that Ken Maines had done a video. And look, this ain't a hate track on Ken Maines. You know, I've got a lot of respect for the guy. He clearly knows what he's talking about. He has been part of and built up a foundation that is one of the most successful in their field. And, you know, he's he's he's... He seems like a good guy. He seems like a good guy. And, you know, he doesn't have his comments turned on, so you can't ever challenge him. But to be honest, I could appreciate some of the comments he'd likely to get. He's probably had them in the past and just thought, you know what, fuck this, I ain't dealing with it. So he's just turned them off. But he was specifically talking yesterday about the fact that the defense has said, look, there's no DNA found. There's no DNA found in Brian Koberg's apartment, in, you know, anything, in his car. And Ken Maines had turned around and said, look, when you hear that there's a knife sheath, you're like, oh, he's guilty. When you hear that there's no DNA in the car, everything, everyone's like, oh, but he could. And he kind of, his stance on that, was very clear in that that didn't really change anything. It didn't really change anything. And is it unusual to be in that situation where this person has gone in, supposedly done this heinous crime, and then got in the car, driven home, or got driven wherever, and there's no DNA found anywhere? And he was kind of... Well, it, it, it is and it, it's it's normal. It doesn't change my thoughts and feelings at all. But there is an issue with that, and that is that I'm coming to this from someone who is not, you know, um, a professional in his field. But I believe that I am coming from the perspective of someone who could appear on a jury, and. What I think in terms of Ken Maines currently is Ken Maines has got the same, or I believe he's got the same information than what we have. And he's falling into the same realms as someone like Jennifer Coffin Dodger. And that is that they are ex-law enforcement, but they're very, very firm in supporting law enforcement. And when they do a discussion they miss out loads of stuff they miss out loads of bits in order to try and ballast their opinion on a point and in the courtroom that is not going to be the case it's not where the the defense gets to shut up and they don't say anything and they just have to sit quietly in the corner and watch all this play out this is going to be where the prosecution has their say and then the defense can actually challenge what's being said. So, like I've said, Ken Maines has his comments turned off, so nothing is challengeable. So I don't see how he challenges and tackles arguments. He just puts his point of view across and misses out all of the other bits that surround it, such as not only did they not find DNA, but it would appear that they didn't find any how can I say, any evidence that there ever was DNA. And what they're trying to say there is, in the event that something is cleaned, there would be evidence that something was cleaned. Wouldn't there? That, that's, that's, that's what happens. You know, if Brian Koberger has got into this vehicle and he has got DNA on him, then he would need to clean that with specific products. Some of them products leave evidence that can be traced through the likes of luminol and so on and so even the smell if you're using bleach bleach is going to smell isn't it 
And I don't think you can use bleach on fabrics and certain even leathers now. I was in the leather trade. I worked uh, in, in mid-level management for a retailer that specialised in furniture. I know a lot about the, the furniture trade inside cars and so on and so forth. And the fact that a lot of leathers, if you touch them with something that's abra as abrasive as bleach, is going to strip the colour out after the legislation led them to using water-based paints instead of oil. They weren't any longer allowed to thickly coat and lacquer leathers so there is no protection so it makes them more susceptible to cleaning anyway i digress the point being there was not only no dna but there was no evidence that the car had been cleaned to remove dna and that is something that in the court obviously the defense can raise and they can turn around and say look is it if Brian entered into this home and done this heinous crime, how could he have cleaned his car specifically? Because I suppose the the apartment and, you know, his parents' home and so on and so forth, that would be a little bit more difficult, um, especially if he was dressed in some protective garment. But even Ken Maines had turned around and said, I don't feel that he entered the home in any protective garments he could have prepped the car certainly he could have put a seat cover on it he could have you know he, he could have done something to the car and that's the only thing from my perspective that i think look if this was premeditated then could he have prepped the car to a point where it would have been unlikely to find something in there and that is if i was the prosecution that is something that i would perhaps um, investigate and certainly put towards the jury as an acceptable possibility for a lack of DNA. But then you could argue that by doing so, would that have then led Brian into a false sense of security and then would it have been more likely ultimately to find DNA unless he put all the covers down and then just decided to give it a rigorous clean that there's no evidence of either. It's a difficult one that's not quite a straight cut. And I do feel, from my layman's perspective, and if I was sitting on a jury, that that would be important. And I think Ken misses the point that he is trained law enforcement and is only given half of the story, and I'm coming at it from a juror who I would feel at this stage, or certainly throughout this process, I would be privy to additional information that would make me question it. And what do I mean by that? Again, I touched on, like, touch DNA, for instance. At the moment, what we're trying to think of is, well, he's got a knife sheath that just happens to have touch DNA. But I went over and said, look, that could be on there from if I shake someone's hand they then go and shake someone's hand. That person then goes and buys a, a knife or they have a knife sheath at home. They then sell that on eBay and it goes on to someone else and it ends up with my touch DNA and it's three people down the trot. And that's, again, probable. I feel that for this to all kind of fall into place, you would have to join all the dots. There's lots of dots, but these dots don't, join up properly it's like the 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 car on cctv if that picture that what we've seen is the only one as people have quite rightly pointed out through the comments and challenge that car is not 100 percent an elantra D could it be it certainly could and i've shown variations of that picture and how you can alter the aspect of an Elantra picture and make them match to a degree. Uh, but there's lots and lots of questions. But I just find it very interesting that Ken Maines, who's ex-law enforcement, he's got the experience that he has. He's still only willing to kind of support what law enforcement say. And he's not open to discussing beyond the issues. He's not willing to then question why there would be two officers who are claiming to be specialists and that's why they're interviewing people on the scene or they're attending an autopsy with autopsy paperwork that then vanishes off the face of the planet in a quadruple homicide the <laughs> 
the police officers are attending the autopsy and the paperwork for said autopsy is no longer available. And just so happens that the two officers that we speak of, their sworn statements read identical, literally word for word. The only part of that that doesn't match, and there are kind of variances in, is surrounding the aforementioned knife sheath. And these are going to be things that are brought up. And I just... I don't think it's as clear-cut as what an ex-law enforcement individual believes. Because, again, I'm coming at it from a juror's perspective. And if I've heard all of these various things and I'm thinking to myself, right, my decision is going to send this guy to death. So am I 100% confident that this is the right person? Am I 100% certain that this guy did this crime? He did it on his own. He's, He's just up sticks gone over and done this crime got in his car and he's managed to clean it he's managed to clean it to a point where there is no dna and ken mains has turned around and said what dna would have been in the car because it would have been just up his front perhaps and you know what bit would have really touched the car i kind of see his point but i'm thinking to myself if the crime scene was as horrendous as what we've been told it is he would have been covered in it from head to foot it would have been on his arms it would have been on his hands it would have been everywhere and when you get in your car you'd be surprised what parts of your body touch the car and it ain't just your back you know he tried to kind of say that it wouldn't be on the back of you which yeah you're right it wouldn't be on the back of you potentially you don't know that but it certainly would have been absolutely everywhere else arms hands face head hair everywhere And if he's gone around all of these people and done this crime, there would have been cross-contamination, there would have been dog hair in there, there would have been dog hair in there. How would he have cleaned it to the point where nothing is found, nothing is found at all, but there is no evidence of the cleaning of it either? No evidence of the cleaning of it either. That's the big one. And then he talks about the O.J. Simpson case, but then there was blood found in the vehicles, albeit two, I believe, two minuscule specks, like what's on the knife sheath, and O.J. Simpson got off. You know, just spitballing, spitballing. Like I say, massive respect to Ken Mains. He's a fantastic guy at doing what he's doing, but if you're going to come onto a platform and you're going to push your thoughts and feelings and try and ballast that with stuff that ignores other things, you're going to get people like me who challenges what you say. And I believe Jules over at Jules of All Trade has just challenged in a similar manner um, Jennifer Coffin Dodger and her biased approach. I used to have a lot of respect for Jennifer Coffin Dodger, but um, since this case started and just the rage and bias of it, and look, the guy could be guilty. He absolutely 100% could be guilty. It ain't the point here. It ain't the point here. There is not enough evidence that we have been made privy to that would say that he is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. There ain't. And anybody who thinks there is... They're very, very naive, or they just don't care enough. They're just like lawyer, you know, like he said, we just like to burn people at the stake too quickly. That's that mentality, this this witch hunt mentality. People have got to try to be a little bit more humane in their approach to things but anyway let me know what you think i don't know whether any of you saw that i'd definitely say if you um haven't seen ken main's video please 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 do i will put a link down in the description so you can go and watch it so you know what i'm talking about and let me know what you think about it is he ignoring a lot of things is he being just biased because he's ex-law enforcement or does the guy make a very valid point i'm open to criticism you know me water off a duck's back enjoy the rest of your thursday <laughs>